All of these fervadoros that we're going to are all slightly different, kind of like the beaches in Brazil, even though some can look really similar, there are some slight differences. I've never been so sad to leave somewhere. <laughs> That doesn't stop these guys from playing some soccer. So we're trying a sorbete of little coconuts. We've seen these before when we were at the cave in Chapada Juniantina. They're these tiny little coconuts. When you see them together, you see like 50 of them, mm. just like grapes all together. It's delicious. Does it taste different than regular coconut? Not too much different. I love anything coconut, so I'm a fan of this. Mm. Guess what Alex got? Acai. Yeah. Let's see how it is. Color looks a bit different, but it's a sorbet day, so... It looks like Play-Doh, you guys. <laughs> People from Belém would be laughing at you right now, saying it's not real acai. How's it taste? Very different. <laughs> Just tastes like an ice cream with a little bit of acai flavor. Okay, we're at our last fervadoro of the day, and this one is called Macaubas. Fervadoro das Macaubas. Looks pretty similar to some of the other ones we've been to. We'll still show you real quick though. They are all good, so... So there are actually 14 of these Fervadoros. Am I saying it right? 14 of <laughs> there are 14 of these and 12 of them are open for tourism and the other two are closed. So we are going to about 7 or 8 of them so we're going to a lot of these. They are some of the coolest things that you can see in on earth yeah. <laughs> and in Brazil. So we highly recommend this to anyone coming to Brazil or to Brazilians come up to like Jalapau. If you guys want to go to Jalapau but you don't know how or you want more information, you can go to the Instagram account Jalapau Brazil Tips and he will help you out. His name is Andre. He's the one who got us to go here. He gave us all this information. He showed us pictures. Yeah. He was the one who brought us here. Basically. He's been awesome. So yeah, talk to him all about it. So all of these fervadoros that we're going to are all slightly different, kind of like the beaches in Brazil, even though some can look really similar. There are some slight differences, so it is cool to check out each and every one of these. Look at these fish. All of these are fish. Big fish.
<laughs> that side is better. Oh, I would excuses, <laughs> excuses. <laughs> Sadly, our time here today has come to an end. We saw I, five of these things. I've never been so sad to leave somewhere. <laughs> but we get two more tomorrow, I think. So, it won't be the end. Just so, the end for today. We will see you tomorrow with more of these types of things. I'm not going. <sighs> Goodbye. Good morning guys, we are staying at the Sao Felix in Jalapao. Sadly this is our last day in Jalapao and our last day in nature really. After this we're headed to Sao Paulo and then flying home. I think we only have two days left in Brazil. We can't believe it. Seems like we've been in Brazil forever and uh, we don't want to leave. But we will be back at some point. Yeah, we we've still have a lot more to explore in Brazil. We didn't even, I mean, we scratched the surface is basically what we did. <laughs> yeah, we basically already have an itinerary for the rest of Brazil when we come back for the south, for the middle of Brazilia and all of that, and just a lot more. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we'll be doing that. We'll let you know. So when you guys come to visit the Fervadoros in Jalapao, this is the best hotel in this area to stay. So check them out. Cool pool area, good breakfast, room was nice. Yeah, I don't even know what this is, but it's a little enclosed space huh. that's a part of the pool. You can swim into it. I think it's a sauna. Yeah, it's, it's a like sauna. a sauna, but it's a part of the pool. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. We didn't get to experience this last night, but we were too it's, tired. Yeah, it's cool looking. Big old pool. This might be a hot tub, but we didn't get to feel it. Pool table, bar, people were hanging out here getting drinks. It looked really fun. We were just too tired, so <laughs> we went to sleep early, but... Yeah. These places in Jalapao seem like they have a really good social scene, kind mm -hmm. of, like a nightlife. Uh, they usually have pools, hot tubs, drinks, drinks people are hanging out, and yeah. so... Good place they're pretty to meet people. Yeah, pretty fun. So you go out during the day, you go to all these fervadoros, you go swimming and all that, and then at night you have a little place where you can <laughs> party and meet people. So, generally, very good vibe. There was a cow just in the road, laying there. Hello! Hola! Hola! We have arrived at Bella Vista Fervadoro. This is the biggest Fervadoro in Jalapao State Park. Looks like it's about 25 rail to enter, which is $5. For those of you who don't know what a Fervadoro is, it's basically a natural spring of water. So you can see when you're in them, you can see the water coming up from the ground under the sand. It's truly amazing <laughs> to see if yeah. you didn't see our other videos. It's just boiling up from the ground. Not hot, but just coming up. And this is kind of what Jalapao has become famous for. So yesterday we saw about five of these fervadoros, but we haven't gotten enough, and we're gonna see two more today. This is the most famous one. If you research Jalapao, this one's gonna pop up, Bella Vista. So for these fervadoros, you have to wait for other people to go in if they're here. This one allows 15 people in at a time, so all of these people behind us, they're waiting. So we're gonna have to wait in this for a little bit. It's a little bittersweet because since they have a limit of how many people can go in, it's good because it's not totally crowded. But at the same time, it's kind of unfortunate because you might have to wait in line. But usually we don't have to wait too long. It's been no longer than 20 minutes. It's been pretty good, yeah. Finally, it's our turn. So that is the longest we have had to wait yet. We had to wait for two groups, 15 minutes each, and then the little bits of time that it takes in between to get the new group in. 
so a good 40 minutes we had to wait, but that's not that bad to see what we're about to see. <laughs> As you can see, if you watched our videos yesterday, we had some of these things completely to ourselves, but this is a bigger one, a more popular one, so we have all these people with us. This is the biggest one yet, and maybe one of the most beautiful. A lot of people in here. This is probably one of the most beautiful ones. Too bad it's not less discovered. The ground just disappeared underneath us. It looks like there's ground right here, but there's not. This one we've been to, the whole middle, you cannot touch the ground, so only on the edges you can stand where the sand is solid. Like, it looks like it's about three feet deep the whole way around. But we walk a little bit from the side. <laughs> it disappears. This is one of those places where you have to be here to really understand how beautiful this place is. Surrounded by the banana trees, just like a perfect circle, a perfect pool out in nature. Guys, it just got better. There's an iguana. We just heard it in the trees. It's right above us. He's right on that. How did he get there? The most beautiful place in the world. Incredible. That's Spanish. <laughs> Crazy place. I can't believe we have to leave. I want to live here. Very bumpy roads. For hours and hours. Hours and hours a day. It's all dirt roads around here. Okay, we have arrived and we don't see any other cars, which usually means we're the only ones here. So as you guys know, we put out videos on YouTube, we put out as much content as we can, but we can't put out everything on YouTube. We also have shorter video clips and photos that we can't put here. So if you want to see more, follow us on Instagram, Lindsay Travel Bum and Alexander Travel Bum. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this one, click one of these. And subscribe right here because we're traveling all around the world and we're sharing the whole thing with you.